<laughs> Nothing like a little barking to get 376 underway. Welcome everyone to episode 376 of the Daily Mother Swole. Here's a muscular curtsy. Oh, thank you. The sun is shining. The birds are chirping. The bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the Daily Swole live every day at 12 noon Eastern time. Watch it on YouTube and also catch the Swole-ist podcast on SoundCloud and iTunes. Episode 333, what is it, 376 uh, is a couple prong. It's like a, a dual pronged attack. This is a little bit of an inspiration from yesterday's video the truth hurts and also what it means to quit what it means to quit right now because we talk a lot about things that happen on a macro scale let's talk about things that happen on a micro scale and why the micro is more important than the macro and of course you can make the argument both ways and I'm gonna explain that in future videos but let's just jump right into it as Papa Swolio paces in front of this nice foliage right here nice bush just like we always do in the Daily Swole. Let's give some thumbs up, let's give a round of applause for some good bush. We all like some good bush in the Daily Swole. Come on, don't kid yourself, you love that shit. Welcome, and remember Daily Swole Club, hashtag Daily Swole Club. I will be picking a winner, and I do like to rep the winner in my Instagram story. So if you're not following me on Instagram, check me out, Swole Normous, uh, all that good shit. Welcome everyone to episode 376 of the Daily Mother Swole. Put the coffee down, the most muscular podcast in the realm, because when I flex, you flex, we all flex our biceps. Look at the gu Look at that. One more round. Hold on, ready? Uh, uh, what? Look at the fucking guns. Look at the gun show. Look at the gun show. Hi from Puerto Rico. Hi Gretchen. Remember, like and share the bar, uh, broadcast. Like and share and also use the hashtag Daily Swole Club to get your one-on-one -on -one FaceTime and other awesome prizes uh, for participating and uh, repping the gains on the best live-ish on the interwebs. Like where are you going to find this kind of interaction? Where are you going to find this type of knowledge, this type of community, where you're going to find all this awesome shit every day. I mean, this is not like once a week. I was having this conversation with someone yesterday. Uh, this is not every week. This is not once a week. This is not once a month. This is not the occasional podcast. This is not the occasional broadcast. This is the Daily Swole with knowledge, nukes, and information dropping every day, not once in a while because there is shit. Life happens every day. And that's where the Daily Swole started is because life happens every day. It's not once in a while. It's all the time. It's all the time. So it's important to have information and contact all the time. It is the repetition. It is the over and over and over again that makes the Daily Swole so awesome because you're getting nukes every damn day. Every damn day. So make sure you share. I think the sharing has been uh, amazing lately. You guys are sharing the hell out of this broadcast. So I super duper appreciate it. And I hope you're not getting uh, too seasick. I'm just pacing a little bit. It's hot out here. I'm trying to chill in the shade a little bit. So let's jump into it. Let's jump into the gains. Let's jump into the swole. Let's jump into today's episode, The Truth Hurts. Uh, float some thumbs and float some hearts if you watched. And if you were digging the video I dropped yesterday about, you know, it opens up like you're not going to like what I have to say. You're fat. Cue the music and cue Papa Solio talking about you being fat and not caring about yourself. So float some hearts and float some thumbs if you liked that episode. Um, I think you did. Most people did. I mean, it's blown up. It's almost got like 40 or 50,000 views already and I just dropped it yesterday. It hasn't been a day yet. So the feedback has been amazing from what I've seen. You know, of course, you got the occasional trolls on there hating everything and the fucking internet and jealous that they didn't make the video themselves and just... You know, they like to pick a fight, but the video itself and the message is pure. The message is pure and the message is that not that it's okay that you're fat, but it's important to accept that fact. It's like being an alcoholic. It's like being in, you know, any kind of addict. You have to accept the fact 
that you're fat. And the word fat, people hide from. People hide from, they're afraid of it. You don't want to use it around your friends. You want to call someone fat. You want to call someone horizontally challenged or overweight. And these words that soften the truth. You're fat, you have extra body fat, you're considered by many standards to be what society will generally consider fat and it leads to metabolic diseases. That's a fact. It's just a fact, right? It's just a fact. You are fat and it will lead to illnesses. It's been proven, it's science, it is truth and is our truth and that is what we have to try to fix. So if you're fat, the first thing to do is to accept that you are fat and yeah, I mean, the truth does hurt, and the truth is the truth. Whether you like the truth or not, no one likes the truth about World War II and the concentration camps and the Nazis, but it's still the truth. It happened. It fucking happened. Doesn't mean you have to like it, but it happened, and we have to learn from it. We have to adjust. So when it comes to you being fat, you have to accept it so you can change it. You're not going to change falsehoods, right? I know it's windy. I apologize. You're not going to change falsehoods. You're not going to change things that aren't true. Does that make sense? You're not going to change things that aren't true. You're not going to change things that aren't real. So if you keep them from being real, if you keep them from being real in your mind, if you don't accept the fact that they're true and you try to soften that fact, you try to soften their existence, then you are not going to actually enact change, right? You're not going to create any change because you are not accepting of the fact that it's actually existing because you don't believe it's true because you're softening what those words mean. So we have to, as a society, as a culture, we need to accept the fact that if you are fat, if you're overweight, like I have a beard, it's a fact, I have a beard. Now, I'm not saying the beard is awesome. Everyone has to grow a beard. I'm not saying long hair is awesome and you have to be, you have to have long hair and look like me to be in shape. But what I am saying is that facts are facts. I have glasses on, I have a beard, I have long hair. If you have extra body fat and you, you know, I mean, that's, it's opinion. It's opinion. What does fat constitute? We can nitpick hairs. The fact is you're being unhealthy and the fact is that you don't care. The fact is that you don't care. I, you know, there's some people that are watching. If you're watching this and you're fat, and you're one of the people that I called out, I don't hate you. I don't hate you. I don't think you're a terrible person. I, I mean, I don't think less of you, but if you're taking action, you're watching this and you're changing yourself and you're working to be healthier, not everyone's destined to have a six pack. Not everyone's destined to be 120 pounds and 5% body fat, but you still, I mean, I, I think it's everyone's responsibility to try and to do the best by their body because it's not gonna hurt you. It's only gonna help you by being healthier and exercising and eat, making good decisions. It's gonna help you live a longer, healthier life. Whether or not you're gonna be on the cover of fucking Sports Illustrated, I mean, that's irrelevant. I'm talking about the people that are fat, don't care, and are harming themselves and affecting you know other people around them. So uh, there's that part of it. There's that part of it. So the truth hurts, but let's go into it a little bit deeper. Let's talk about, um, yeah, I'm not into the whole politically correct thing. I mean, facts are facts, truth are truth. And there's a reason why the word fat cuts, Joy. And, and that's a good point. There's a reason why the word fat cuts deep is because, you know, people were called fat when they were younger and it hurts people's feelings. Well, good. It should hurt your fucking feelings because you're hurting your body. You're disrespecting your body. Now, whether or not your parents fed you garbage food and you're overweight because of your parents and when you were five years old, they fed you fast food and you weren't old enough to make your own decisions, you know, we all have our different ways of growing up, but it doesn't mean now that you, it doesn't mean you don't have control now to make decisions and you can't blame anything you have now on other people. You got to take action now. So it's all about taking action, but let's look at the small, let's look at those, um, the small victories. And I talked yesterday about small victories and I also posted that video. So today is about what it means not to quit now. So you have people that are fat watching this. If you're fat and you're watching this and you think you're all alone, you're not all alone. And you see a lot of people here mentioning Soul Normous Premium and my premium family is here repping huge. And if you're interested in joining my accountability group, my family, where we have each other's backs, we have support where we can get you through the tough times and keep you consistent with your workout programming, the link is in the description to sign up for premium today. You get a seven day free trial, it's awesome. I highly recommend it. And everyone that's floating thumbs right now and hearts and saying premium rocks, it does. It does, you get to try it free, so check that out. Especially if you're just finding this and you need to you know, get your shit together. But when it comes to the small victories, 
Small victories are big victories in their own way. And when it comes to small victories, what it means not to quit and what it means not to quit. And I talk a lot about that's when people quit. You might have seen on Instagram, you might have seen Instagram and Snapchat when I posted that wallpaper again yesterday or the day before, what it means to quit or what it means to not quit. And the thought that when you think that's when people quit, that helps me go and keep going. And that's why I made that, um, that's why I made that wallpaper and that's why I have it posted by my computers and on my walls and like the little mantras written around that you've seen in like my swole motions on YouTube and uh, in the daily swoles and stuff in the past. Whenever it gets tough for me, and a lot of people ask me, how do you stay consistent? How do I stay on point? How do I do 376 episodes every day and have new content and keep going and stay motivated? I mean, I stay motivated because I don't quit. You know, and not that it's creating this illusion of motivation, but I'm just doing it every day. So I'm not, I haven't stopped. The reason why I haven't quit is because I haven't quit. The reason why I haven't quit is because I haven't stopped. The reason why I'm still doing it is because I haven't quit. And that's what it comes down to. The reason why I'm doing this right now, the reason why it's episode 376 and not 172 and not episode three, or I'm not sitting here just sitting in a park uh, not doing a daily show is because I haven't quit. And that really, that's it. Think about it. Think about it. We complicate everything. Oh, how come I keep falling off the wagon? How do you stay consistent? You stay consistent. How do you stay consistent? How do you keep going? You don't quit. You don't stop. Literally, you cannot finish something. I can't get to 376 without doing 375 first. I can't do a daily show without doing it every day. So no matter what you're doing, it's gotta be effort every day. It's gotta be consistent. Like you literally have to not to stop. You have to not quit. And you'll hear this from a lot of people. You hear this from Navy SEALs. You hear this from all types of grueling, um, grueling processes that shape people's lives and that, you know, where, for example, and I watch a lot of stuff on Navy SEALs and I encourage you to do the same thing. Go on YouTube and type in how to become a Navy SEALs and interview with Navy SEALs. I mean, it's great motivation. It's great strength. I, I, I really am fascinated by that process. And you'll see that most people quit Navy SEAL training at the end, in the last few weeks or the last couple days. They ring the bell at the end because they finally break. You're thinking about the macro scale, what it takes to finish in six months, how much more grueling work you have to do, how much, how, you know, how many more years it's gonna take to get to a certain point, how many more weeks or months, when all you have to do, all you have to do, all you have to do to not quit is to not quit. All you have to do to finish is not stop and not quit. And it's every day. It's every day. It's a small victories. It's doing today. So what do I have to do? Let's equate this to me because I'm the only one talking. Let me equate this to what I do in a day. How do I not quit? How do I not stop being so enormous? How do I not stop doing the daily swole? I show up at 12 and I do the daily swole. Well, how do I continue? How do I stay consistent tomorrow? I show up at 12 and I do 377. Well, how do I stay consistent after that? How do I stay motivated? How do I keep going with all this? How do I you know, keep on point? I do 378 on Friday. And I do 379, 380, and fucking 381. I just keep going. Like, there has to be no other option. There has to be no other option. There has to be no other choice. You can't leave this up for interpretation. You can't leave it up for debate. You can't leave it up to a black and white or if I feel like it, because you don't. you're not gonna feel like it. You're not gonna feel like working out like 90% of the time. Some of you might not feel like working out 10%. You might love it. Some people, you might not feel like it ever. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't change the fact that in order to get in better shape and to look better and feel better and be healthier, think about it, people. It doesn't matter whether you like it. It's not fun. It's not entertainment. You want, you want a six pack, you want muscles, you want to be healthier, then you have to do it. If you like it, that's a bonus. If you don't, well, suck it up, buttercup, and either don't do it and be fat and miserable or do it, whether you like it or not. It's like if you give yourself a choice and you leave it up for opinion and like subjectivity and how you feel, honestly, yo, honestly, it's not going to succeed. You have to be so disciplined. You have to be on point and you have to do. Discipline, discipline, that's right, Joe. Like every day, just do it. How do you stay on the wagon? How do you keep it consistent? You just do it and you don't quit. You don't quit. You don't quit. Ah, oh, Tony, thank you so much for the kind words, bro. I appreciate it. 
but you're also changing your own lives. I mean, this is just the venue where we can all meet and agree and rage and get swollen, and lift and, and, and interact together. But it's really, it's all of you. It's all of you. And float some thumbs if you agree. Float some hearts if you're loving Daily Swole, if you're loving Premium, if you love Swolga, if you love the 90 Day Dash. Just float some hearts. Let's just fucking, let's get amped up. I mean, I can't hear you cheering and I can't walk around giving people fucking high fives, but this is like an electronic high five. So give me a, a you know, give me a Facebook Live high five. Um, oh, I like that, bro. I like that, uh, John. Rack them. I like that. Grab a calendar and put an X on all the days that you work out but don't feel like it. Bro, like I don't necessarily feel like working out today. I'm stiff. I feel a little bit like ah, beaten up. That leg workout the other day really took a lot out of me. I got stuff to do. I don't feel like it. But what does feeling like it have to do with it all the time? You know? If you go by what you feel like, if I honestly, if I did the daily swole based on whenever I just felt like it. Like, do you guys think it's convenient? The reason why I'm being a little more casual with the Daily Swole, you know, I got my phone and stuff, I'm not always in the same place, is because it's restrictive. It's restrictive to be like in a studio with everything set up all the time at 12. You know, I wanna be consistent, so I'm like, you know what? I gotta be more dynamic, I wanna, you know, show, you know, show Swole Normus the world, I wanna get out of the house a little bit, I mean, come on. You guys saw me for like 300 straight fucking episodes, I'm sitting like in front of a wall or on the porch. It gets boring for me too, like being in the same spot. I mean, I love doing this, but I want to be out in the world. I got to live my life too. And I want to be a little bit more dynamic and I want to, you know, bring some more value and some more content and stuff. Plus it's beautiful out. So it's like, you know, got to enjoy the world too. But you have to, you have to find your, your pattern. You have to find what motivates you, but you can't quit. No matter what it is, you can't quit because if you quit, you stop. And if you stop, then it's over, then it's over. So I want you to ask yourself right now, I want you to ask yourself right now, whether you're in premium, whether you're in Swolga, whether you're in the 90 Day Dash, no matter what you're doing, even if you're watching this for the first time because I called you fat in that video and you're like taking offense to it. It's not a chop of your personality. It's not a chop as you at a person. It's not a chop as like, you know, I think you're a piece of shit. I think you owe it to yourself. No, I know you owe it to yourself to respect yourself, to stay on this earth longer. Like why would you not want to? Why would you not want to? Like, you know, you'll take care of your car and you'll change your oil, but then you'll feed yourself shit. You'll rotate the tires, but then you won't train legs. You will wax your car, but then you don't take care of your hygiene and you don't shower properly and give yourself the proper nutrients to nurture your skin and stuff. I mean, where's the disconnect? Why do we care more about these physical possessions than our own bodies? You know, if we're dead, we can't enjoy it. I'm not saying you can't have desire. I'm not saying you can't want things. I'm not saying you can't have possessions. I'm not saying you can't have cool t-shirts. Shameless plug. But what I'm saying is like, don't you understand how life works? Like, you know, what I have, take the glasses off, take off all my clothes. That's all I got. That's all you got. It's like, what are you, where are you putting your focus? Where are you putting your importance on life? So that's right, Nick. Most people don't like going to work every day, but they still do. Mind over matter. You do what you have to do. You do what you have to do. You just fucking do it. You just fucking do it. So that's my point. So not quitting, micro scale. I want you to focus on making today awesome. So the way that I am going to reach more people, the way that Soul Norm is gonna grow is yesterday, I was gonna post that video. And then I was gonna do my Instagram stories. I'm gonna talk to people. I'm gonna do some one-on-ones. That's what I did yesterday. Today, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do my, what can I do today to make shit awesome? What can I do today to make progress? What can I do today to make things better? What can I do today to keep moving forward? Do the daily swole. I'm gonna get my workout in. I'm gonna do some stuff for premium and for swolga. I'm going to make some calls, clean my, you know, clean my apartment, whatever it is, I'm going to do. I'm going to do, and I'm gonna focus on today. Sure, it's nice to have goals. Sure, it's nice to reverse engineer and think back and do today. It doesn't matter what your goals are, long-term, short-term, or moderate-term. If you fail on executing today, it doesn't matter. So no matter what your goals are, no matter what your plans are, no matter what your big schemes are for life and for your body and whatnot, if you're not doing the right shit today, and to, well, like right now and today, if you're not doing today awesome, then it's all gonna average out to shit and you're not gonna have it. And I think people are focused too much on losing five pounds, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, rather than doing literally what they have to do today, closing off, and I have people in the comments and sometimes like saying, hey, but what do you think about this person? What do you think about what this person? I'm like, I don't even know who the fuck that is. 
I don't know, I barely know what's going on around me in terms of like social media because I'm so focused on my own shit. I don't care what he's doing. I don't care what she's doing. I don't care what that person has done. It doesn't fucking matter to me. Their life has nothing to do with mine. It does, but it doesn't. Like it has nothing to do with what I'm doing for myself. I put my head down, boom, and I'm grinding, I'm hustling, I'm fucking doing my shit. And that's what you have to do. Stop worrying about other people's shit and focus on your stuff. Let's do some Daily Swole Club. Thank you so much for joining me for episode 376 of the Daily Swole. It's windy, it's awesome. Let's scroll through, let's do a little one-on-one. Let's get some FaceTime going. Who's this? Uh, Jay, Joy, Joy, I spun, I landed on you. It's about time, my dear. Congratulations to Joy. Everyone float some thumbs and some hearts for Joy. Congratulations. I'll also rep you on Instagram stories, so make sure you check it out over there. Uh, congratulations for uh, congratulations for winning. Congratulations for winning. Let's have that conversation. So Joy, message me right here on Facebook. Right, message me right here on my fan page. Uh, that way we can set that up in the near future. So let's set that up. FaceTime, Skype, voice call, whatever works. So. High five, hearts, thumbs for joy. Uh, Let's have that one-on-one. And remember everyone else at One Daily Swole, make sure you contact me. Don't let it fall through the cracks. You're gonna have to be on top of me because I got a lot of other calls coming in. I got a lot of other stuff to do and shit's not getting less busy. So make sure you set that up with me. And I love you, I love you. Focus, focus on your shit today. Small victories, micro, micro, micro. Today, today is all about now. Today is all about today. And guess what you have to do today? Guess what you have to do today to be successful? Don't quit. That's it. That's it. Just do it. Do and don't quit. If you don't quit, you finish today. And then tomorrow, don't quit. And the next day, don't quit. You could also think of it in a positive way, but for a lot of you, you just have to do and stop stopping. If you stop stopping, you don't have to start again. <gasps> An amazing concept. Who knew? Who knew? Thank you so much for joining me for episode 376. If you're not a member of Soul Normous Premium, seven day free trial, click the link in the description. Join my fit fam. Let's get yoked together. I'll see all of you in premium a little bit later today uh, for exercise demo. It's hump day. We're gonna do some glutes and some core shit today. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching on YouTube and also listening to the podcast on SoundCloud and iTunes. Peace McGeese, Deuce Magoose. I'll see everyone. Slaters and enjoy your day. Don't quit. Let's fucking kill it. Peace.